National Night Out is next week. Ted on your side invited police chiefs from across the area to join us here at 4 to talk about efforts to take back the community. Today I'm joined by Suffolk Police Chief Thomas Bennett. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So this is a big deal in Suffolk. It I is. mean, you are telling me thousands of people are going to be at this event this year. Talk to me about the timeline, what people can expect. Uh, this year on Tuesday the 6th, we have a kickoff ceremony at City Hall at 5.30 p.m. The mayor and all of our public safety personnel will have a brief meeting and will then send out approximately 75 to 80 officers wow. to over 60 events in our city. And it's just not in one area. It's from, it's from Harborview up north to uh, Holland and all the way down to North Carolina. So all, these 60 plus events are all over the city. They'll last for about two and a half hours. There are picnics, there are meetings, there's things involving kids, a whole lot of eating, a whole lot of socializing, and our officers are interacting with our citizens uh, and getting everybody together to fight crime. Uh, after the 60 events in our city, we all come together for one final event that will be at Kings Fork High School this year, uh, approximately 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Last year we had over 4,000 people. This year we're hoping for about 5,000. 5,000 people. And you know, you're talking about these officers who are going around to these 60 different events. I assume it happened last year. What did you kind of learn from last year that you think that, you know, you can bring to this year? You learn that there are a lot more people in the city than you think that sure. support public safety, want to work with the police, want to make the city of Suffolk a safe place and a great place to live. And you learn that there are more and more people uh, that get involved in the events every year. We have more and more places every year that have the events, and that's our goal, to grow it as big as we can and uh, have everybody on the same team, so to speak. So you said grow as big as we can, but you were telling me that Suffolk won an award, a first place award for National Night Out. Talk to us about that. Yes, last year we won first place. The National Association of Town Watches has a contest where yeah. you submit what you do for National Night Out. Uh, we submit every year. Since 2008, we have won first place in our population category nationwide five times. And, five times? And in the last 13 years, we've been in the top five every year. So Wow, that's pretty incredible. We're very proud of that, and that is attributable to our citizens getting involved and all of our public safety officials working together. If someone's here at home watching thinking, I am not one of those 5,000 people who's been to National Night Out, how can they get involved? Call the police department or call our public information office at 514-4104, and we'll be happy to get you involved and steer you in the right direction. And lastly, I know that you are so passionate about this. It's very evident. Why so? Uh, it's very important to have a solid, good relationship with public safety, police, and our citizens. And this is just one of the many ways we do it. It's one of the larger, more high-profile ways we do it in Suffolk. Chief Bennett, thanks for being here. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. And remember, National Night Out is Tuesday, August 6th. You can find out more about the event in your community and see all our interviews with the police chiefs right now on wavy.com. Just search National Night Out.